for the next week I will live without this computer mouse. Goodbye, Fred. Did you really think I would do that? <laughs> you heard that right. I set sail to find out if it's possible to survive without a computer mouse by spending one week without one. Can you get by only using the keyboard? That is what I want to figure out. I know it sounds crazy, most applications are designed to be used with a computer mouse. But me being a game developer, the tools I use on a daily basis luckily has a lot of shortcuts. But how does one browse the internet, watch YouTube videos, or do programming without ever touching the mouse? I did actually find a solution to all of them, and this is how it went. I moved the mouse out of sight, out of reach, and started this adventure. About 10 seconds later, I realized I needed to change my Visual Studio project. I usually use the mouse, but I know there is a shortcut. Whew, good. But immediately, there was another problem. I can't select a folder without using a mouse. It quickly became obvious that it would not actually be possible to do certain things without a cursor. I could reach out for the mouse in this short moment, but that doesn't feel honorable. I need a solution to use the mouse cursor without actually using a real computer mouse. So, I booted up Visual Studio, grabbed my MIDI controller. After some programming, I can now control the mouse with these sliders. It is not fun or easy to use, but that's kind of the point. Now I have a bulletproof method method of surviving using my computer without a mouse. Now the challenge can start. I use the internet a lot, and when I'm programming I'm constantly looking on documentation and github pages, or booting up some music on YouTube. How does one do all of that without a mouse? Well, I got this plugin for Firefox called Vimium. Tapping F gives me these labels, and I can click on anything I want. That's how we click on things without a mouse. There are more shortcuts like navigating up and down, jumping between pages. I'm surprised how well this works. I can actually use the internet without the mouse. What a relief. The other thing I do daily is programming in Visual Studio Code. I know a lot of shortcuts thanks to a lifetime of learning them. I am used to not using my mouse when I do my programming. There are however some things you can't do with the keyboard. Changing window sizes, selecting folders. These things were really annoying not to have control over. I also used the command line a lot and there wasn't a default way to close this window. So I added a new shortcut in order to hide this command line window. There was another a way to navigate code suggestions, so I added a shortcut for that as well. If there ever was something I didn't know how to do without a computer mouse, I needed to google it to figure it out. Luckily I can navigate the internet with Vimium. Or, you know, use a failsafe MIDI controller mouse that I programmed from scratch. Now I was surprised how well I adapted to not using the computer mouse. And it's mainly thanks to a lifetime of experience, continuously learning new tools and shortcuts. I thought I would have this huge epiphany, but turns out I'm already pretty good at it, so I think it's a good idea to explain my journey before trying to go mouseless. Many years ago I felt that my programming speed could be greatly improved. I was using the software called Sublime Text, but I wasn't actually utilizing the power of this text editor. I decided to spend one or two weeks every single day learn a new skill in Sublime Text. One day was about navigating files through fuzzy search. Next day was about multiline editing. Just a few weeks of learning one new thing every day made me pretty good at editing code, slightly more faster and slightly more ergonomically. Many years after Sublime, I learned there was a text editor called Vim. It looks like it was made in the Stone Age, but I've heard really good things about it, so I wanted to learn it. I spent one or two weeks every day learning a new skill in Vim. And once again, my programming speed and ergonomics has greatly improved. Vim is something I use daily right now. What is my next evolutionary step here? Well, it is the computer mouse. Moving the hand back and forth between the keyboard and mouse might not seem like a huge problem, but if we could avoid it, wouldn't it be preferable? Here's a time lapse of me programming for about 20 minutes. I never touched the mouse and my hands barely moved anything at all. And that is mainly thanks to the Vim text editing method. I find it hilarious and also kind of sad that Vim was released in 1991 and I discovered it so late. If you have never used Vim, I highly encourage you to try it out for at least one week wholeheartedly. It is the most impactful text editor tools I've ever learned. Going into this experiment, my expectation of what I was going to learn was really high, but I didn't have any huge changes to my daily ways of using the computer. I have already spent many years before this learning shortcuts and all of the tools I use. This challenge did however help me bring back some good habits that I knew how to do, but simply didn't because the computer mouse is so close and mindless to use. What surprised me the most is that I really enjoy using the Vimium plugin for Firefox to navigate the internet. I've had it installed on my computer for a long time, but I stopped using it because I hadn't spent any time building up muscle memory for it, since my muscle memory usually went for the mouse browsing the web. 
Another positive outcome from this challenge is that I have not so long ago started using Linux as my daily work operating system. And this challenge helped me to build muscle memory for window management, since Windows and Pop OS have different window management shortcuts. To my pleasant surprise, Pop OS has Vim like layout. Can someone please make a Vim operating system already? I use it for code editing, I use it for website navigation, window management. Vim is freaking everywhere. Spending a week to consciously think about the way we use our tools is something I've done year to year, and every time I've learned something that I continue to use daily. Going mouseless wasn't revolutionary for me because of the habits I've already built up over the years. I am happy though to be able to edit the window sizes again with the mouse. Goodbye media controller software, I do not want to use you again. Well, check this out. Usually you use the mouse to look around, but it actually works decently with the media controller to look around and I can look up and I can look down. It's, it's fine, it's fine.